Hello everybody and happy Monday. It's another edition of Mark's Monday Minutes in Portland Real Estate for November 14th. Thanks for joining me today. I've got a green screen background, but no virtual background, so it's going to be green. It's the color of money or the color of Kermit, who always said it was not easy being green. All right, let's get into the week's numbers. It's been a good week. It's been just nice and level, plateau. That's where we're at. Everything is just moving forward in the water, nice and steady. That's normally what we expect, and that's exactly what we're seeing, both from the national level as well as in the Portland level. Let me show you. I will illustrate. Our current listings in Portland, 4,192. This is the fourth week in a row of a decline. In fact, we're down 5% over these four weeks. Why is that important? Well, it's typical. That's the first of my three takeaways. First of all, inventory is declining and will continue to do so into 2023, into January, when it should start to tick back up. Second of all, mortgage rates appear to be stabilizing with some good news this last week. They've been sitting right at that 7% level. And takeaway number three, price reductions have also plateaued. So everything is just moving along quietly and level. Here's why. Active listings, again, 4,192, down 5% in four weeks. The new listings this week, 376, down from 474 last week. So that's almost a 20, it's about 20% drop just in the number of new listings. Set third, pending week, 412 properties went pending, just slightly up from 401 and up from 386 the week before. So we're seeing more properties go pending and fewer properties come on the market, combining to a net decline in the amount of inventory available homes for purchase in Portland. Price adjustments, we're sitting at 1,281. This is just barely 30% of the Portland market. Now, 30%, 30.5 in, in fact, is also a slight decline or a plateau from what we've been seeing. Portland has been sitting at this 31 to 32%. We've dipped just a little bit. Compare this to the national numbers that are actually down about 43% of listings nationwide have had a price reduction. This is, of course, the national average is skewed by certain hot markets like Phoenix that over 68% of their listings there have had a price reduction. Perhaps they were sellers that just came on way too optimistically and had to come back down to reality. In Portland, we've stayed at a reasonable, rational number, and so we are lower than the national average of homes that have had a price reduction. Now, the number of coming soon showings, coming soon listings, in fact, and I've been working on these. I've got two that I've put into market in the last week. I've got three more on the way. So I'm doing my best to put more inventory out there for buyers and to help my sellers sell. We have 23 listings across the entire Portland area. So I own two of those, almost 10%, just myself on upcoming listings. Total homes sold in the last 30 days, 1,705. What does this do? It gives us a total inventory of about 2.45 months worth of inventory. That means, once again, the general explanation. If we had no new listings come on, which is what we'll expect this time of year, then we would deplete all the available listings. We have two and a half months supply before we would be back down to zero. Not that we ever get there. It's a theoretical point. But if we're holding steady at two and a half months, this is still typically the start of where we shift into what's called a neutral market, where the balance between buyers and sellers is more neutral. We haven't been at this point in several years. Perspective, years. Pre-COVID, years. All right, the number of four-car garage homes, obviously those wonderful garage homes that obviously I and my fellow enthusiasts enjoy. We have 118 homes with a four-car garage or larger, of which 31 are under a million dollars. There's that signature method for the affordable four-car garage homes. We've had three new homes come on the last week, two of which are under a million dollars. We've had six go pending, which is good, and we've sold four homes in the last week. Now, those four homes in the last week were all below a million dollars. In the last 30 days, we've sold 23 homes with a four-car garage or larger, of which 18 had a four-car garage and were affordable in that under million dollar price range. Now, this is definitely a good illustration of how the market has shifted. If you're trying to sell a home over a million dollars, that market has slowed down dramatically versus under a million dollars, there's still some competition there 
still a reasonable activity. And in fact, there's some good opportunities for buyers if you're looking along the way. So just something to think about. Buyers, I'm actually seeing some good opportunities out there. I'm seeing some numbers where, where sellers are perhaps willing to take a price adjustment. Others, they absolutely don't have to. And in fact, we probably won't see many more price reductions now for the rest of the year. I think that if sellers don't have to sell, they're, they're more likely to just leave it on and wait and see if something happens, or they'll simply pull the house off and wait till after the 1st of January. I think that's very likely. So we're gonna see even fewer homes for buyers to choose from. Um, again, we're not gonna see inventory levels increase until well into January of 2023. Now, second of all, we talked about mortgage rates. Mortgage rates, we had better than expected news for inflation, if you will. It's like saying, well, it's less of a hernia, less of a painful medical procedure, but we've settled, we've settled on mortgage rates around that 7%. So that's just maybe the new reality as we've expected since September when we were back at five and a half percent, they've ramped up to seven, they actually went up to about seven and a quarter. Now they've come back down to 7%. We'll see based on inflation numbers on those financial numbers, how things go into 23. And as I mentioned, price reductions have also gone flat at the national level that 43% of homes have had a price reduction led by wider band, wider outliers, such as 68% in Phoenix. Portland, we're sitting at just over 30, 30 and a half percent. It's our third week in a row, in fact, of declining percentage of reduction. So we'll take this as a good news of just, again, the market just stabilizing and sitting probably nice and quiet through the remainder of the year. Now I'm doing my best. I'm gonna go try and get a few more listings out there. As I say, I've got five on the way, two currently and three in the works. See if I can go get at least one or two more. If you know anyone looking to buy or sell, I'm ready to help them. I have the marketing expertise. I have the tenacity and the know-how to make it happen. Give me a call. Mark Scholes, 503-703-0618. I can answer your real estate questions. I can help you get to your, re your real estate goals and on the timeline that best fits you. All right, have a wonderful week. We'll see you next week.